we just had a storm late for the season, but spring is underway as well as allergy season. Mm -hmm. Experts say this year could be more harsh than the last two years. You and I both suffer from allergies. Mm -hmm. Dr. Salima Tabani is an allergist with Kaiser Permanente South Bay, and she is here to talk about the symptoms and how to find some relief. But first, a very good morning to you, and thanks for waking up so early to be with us. Good to see you. Good morning. Absolutely. Good morning. Yeah, allergy season is on the rise. I think over the last decade, because I've been practicing for a decade, our patients are telling us they're feeling worse and worse. And over the last couple of years now, we actually have studies letting us know that pollen counts are on the rise. And a large part of that is due to climate change. So our planet is warming up, glaciers are melting and pollen counts are rising. So what can we do? So I typically will recommend, there's three part solution here, right? Um, and the first part is environmental control measures, right? So you wanna know what the pollen counts are. And the reason why that's important is because if you're doing a lot of outdoor activities, there are things that you can do. So actually wearing a mask is helpful. And we've been advising our, our patients for even before the pandemic, hey, if you're gonna be doing outdoor work, gardening, mowing the lawn, wear a mask. If there's one place in the home I think you can focus on, it should be your bedroom. Keep that the cleanest place. So no shoes in the bedroom. If you come home, you know, if you've done a hike or been outdoors a lot, don't just come home and plop yourself on the bed. Try to change your clothes. Take a shower if possible. If not, at the minimum, wash your hands, wash your face, rinsing out your nose and your eyes because a lot of the allergy cells are sitting in your nose and in your eyes. When you're outside, Ooh. try to wear sunglasses and a hat because that's less pollen directly, um, you know, entering into your eyes. Then there's medications. So what medications do we have? Well, a lot of the allergy medications are now over the counter because they're safe and effective. So I prefer things like antihistamines. I, I stay away from the Benadryl because Benadryl can be sedating and it doesn't last 24 hours. So I like the 24 hour antihistamines. Things like Allegra, Zyrtec, Claritin, Zyzel, and then nasal sprays are also just great. I always say not all nasal sprays are created equal. So the one that you wanna get is something called a nasal steroid spray. So this is like your flow nase, your nasocort, your rhinocort. And then you can always see your friendly neighborhood allergist. There are some great um, options we have out there for you, including allergy shots and now sublingual um, tablets, which we, it sounds crazy, but we inject you with things that you're allergic, allergic to so that over time, your body builds a tolerance. Hmm. I love knowing that we shouldn't wear our clothes into the bed or just keep them on or wash our faces or all little things. So when it gets really windy, is that uh, not a time when we should be exercising outside because pollen's gonna be all over us? Yeah, so very good question. So pollen counts start to peak in the very early morning and by you know er midday, we're at its highest points. So if you like to run outside, I would recommend doing it much later in, in the afternoon, early evening, um, so that you're not inhaling all that pollen. And the same thing, if you're doing a lot of driving in your car, we do recommend bedroom windows uh, bedroom windows closed, car windows closed, you know, and, and purchasing an air purifier is definitely very helpful. A tip for that is, you know, HEPA filters are great. And then look at the square footage. I have some people come in and they're like, I got this really great, you know, air purifier. And it's only a covering a quarter of their room because they didn't look at the square footage of their actual bedroom. And doctor, you talked about a, a lot of the medications. I take Zyrtec, uh, of course, but I was Googling. Don't kill me. I Googled about uh, bee pollen, and I was at uh, Whole Foods a couple of weeks ago. I think I told you I started taking bee pollen because it says that it helps with allergies. Is that true or false, or have you done any studying on that? Yeah, so if you look, if you talk to board-certified allergists across the country, we don't recommend it. Um, it's, it's not helpful. So I would recommend, you know, and we've looked at a lot of other ways. I mean, you would think if you have your dog, you should become sensitized to it. And a lot of that has to do uh, in the way that your allergy cells are actually meeting up with your immune system. And so by doing it, and allergy, we've been doing allergy shots now for a decade, um, not a day, a century actually. And over the past two decades, we know it works because it goes into the lymph nodes and it sort of teaches your immune cells on how to change properly. So and drop the you bee. get a permanent tolerance. Drop well, I guess I'll pollen. take my bee pollen back then. <laughs> yeah. Try yeah, to get my we, money back. <laughs> that upcharge, forget it. Go get your shot. <laughs> I know there's a lot of a lot of, you know, stuff out there and I just just be careful. Thank okay. you very much. I appreciate it. Stop Googling DeMarco <laughs> and call the doctor. Doctor, thank you and good to see you this morning as well.
Absolutely. Thanks for having Thank me. You. Of course. Man, oh, I no. thought I was doing something. Be piling in my <laughs> smoothies and shakes. And I never liked the chewiness anyway. So good. I don't have a reason to do it anymore. Amber. <laughs> you guys can stick with your ginger shots for digestion. <laughs>